All in favor, vote aye. 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 Opposed, no. A defiant Jeff Kogan is still in office tonight after his fellow commissioners voted for him to resign. Now the embattled county chair must survive a criminal investigation if he wants to keep his job. Welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. And Jolie Winaga continues to dig into hundreds of pages of documents, in particular questionable emails and expenses the attorney general may be looking at. Joel? Jeff and Kelly, good evening. Since that scandal broke last week, Jeff Kogan has said he would not resign despite a no confidence vote yesterday from his colleagues there on the Board of Commissioners. The next big obstacle for Kogan, of course, is now the criminal investigation. The so county the citizens? Meeting, that's what my explanation is. A defiant Multnomah County chairman refusing to, to go down without a fight and refusing to answer our questions. Today, only saying he is sorry to the woman with whom he had a two year affair. I have apologized to Sonia. Well, Kogan can walk away from Sonia Manhas mm -hmm. and the non binding resolution asking for his immediate resignation. It is the Attorney General's looming criminal investigation that is Chair Kogan's real obstacle. The AG will examine, among other questionable expenses, a second trip to Atlanta back in April where he canceled his hotel room to upgrade to a more luxurious hotel where Manha stayed with him in the same room. Total cost to taxpayers, nearly $1,000. If she had no legitimate business to be on the trip, but he authorized the trip for her to be there because he wanted companionship, arguably that would be some sort of misuse of public funds. All in favor vote aye. 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 Opposed, no. During today's Board of Commissioners meeting, Kogan made it clear he is not stepping down, even though his colleagues say they can no longer trust him as their leader. The AG, meanwhile, also looking into questionable emails between Kogan and Manhaas, like this one from Manhaas, quote, I would rather work directly for you. And following her promotion, Kogan wrote to her, quote, Damn, that Sonia woman sounds great with a smiley face. The fact that they're talking about this uh, you know, raises some more judgment issues. Law professor Yin, however, is quick to point out these investigations locally and nationally rarely lead to criminal charges. Back live now, Jeff Kogan says he is confident that he will be cleared of any criminal charges being investigated by the Attorney General's office. In the meantime, the only other way that Kogan can be ousted is by recall. We checked with the county tonight. Uh, no one has filed a petition yet. You may recall several years ago, attempts to recall then Portland Mayor Sam Adams were unsuccessful. Reporting live here in Southeast Portland, Joel Lewanaga, Coin 6 News. Kelly and Jeff, back to you in the studio. Joel, thank you. Now, here are the facts on how that recall would play out. After a recall petition is filed with the county, 90 days are allotted then to get enough signatures to qualify. After the county verifies those signatures, Kogan would then have five days to respond. And if he still refused to resign at that point, the recall election would come 35 days later. In all, that process takes 140 days. You can count on us to continue to dig into what's next in the Jeff Kogan case. Uh, we'll have new developments as we get them on air and always online at coin.com.